Have you done the expression list? Yes, I have done the expression list, but it's one of the first videos that I ever posted on my TikTok back in like January or February of 2021. So I'll do it again. The expression list is a creepypasta story that takes place in June 1972. It was just a regular night at Cedar Sinai Hospital when a woman walked into the emergency entrance wearing a white gown that was completely drenched in red liquid. This typically wouldn't be too uncommon in an emergency room, but what stood out about this woman was that her face almost looked like a mannequin. It almost looked like she was made of wax. She didn't have any eyebrows and her face was smeared with makeup. To make matters even weirder, this woman had a kitten in her mouth. She pulled the kitten out of her mouth and collapsed to the ground and then was taken and rushed into a hospital room. And that's when things got weirder and even more sinister. Check out part two. Have you done the expression list? Yes, I have done the expression list, but it's one of the first videos that I ever posted on my TikTok back in like January or February of 2021. So I'll do it again. The expression list is a creepypasta story that takes place in June 1972. It was just a regular night at Cedar Sinai Hospital when a woman walked into the emergency entrance wearing a white gown that was completely drenched in red liquid. This typically wouldn't be too uncommon in an emergency room, but what stood out about this woman was that her face almost looked like a mannequin. It almost looked like she was made of wax. She didn't have any eyebrows and her face was smeared with makeup. To make matters even weirder, this woman had a kitten in her mouth. She pulled the kitten out of her mouth and collapsed to the ground and then was taken and rushed into a hospital room. And that's when things got weirder and even more sinister. Check out part two. Part two of the expression list. This story reminds me of when I was in high school and I used to go into class and I used to tell people in my classes this story and people started asking me in high school to keep telling them scary stories in class because I would always whip out this story and tell it and everyone loved it. So they take the woman into a hospital room and the nurses begin to administer an IV. The nurses were having kind of a hard time doing this because none of them wanted to look at the woman's face. Just as soon as the doctor was about to inject the woman to sedate her, she started fighting back. The nurses tried holding her down, but she was stronger than all of them, and she rose from the bed. That's when the doctor looked at her and said, What are you? The woman then looked at the doctor and smiled, revealing that she didn't have human teeth. She had rows and rows of extremely sharp teeth, like shark's teeth. So sharp that it looked almost impossible for the teeth to fit inside her mouth. The expressionless part three, final part. So this expressionless woman opened her mouth and smiled at the doctor, revealing rows and rows of extremely sharp teeth, kind of like a huggy wuggy. The doctor hears somebody coming in the hallway and he turns his back to the woman for a split second. That's when the woman sinks her razor sharp teeth into his neck. The authorities arrive and try to detain the woman, but she overpowers them and massacres each and every one of them. The woman escapes the hospital, never to be seen again. There's only one nurse that survived the attack, and she's named the woman, the expressionless, because of the waxy mannequin look to her face. Since that time in June of 1972, there's never been another sighting reported of the expressionless woman. So tell me, what would you guys do if you saw a woman who looked like a mannequin? Why she running like that? <laughs> <Summer> man! <coughs> <laughs> I'm gonna shit! What is that? No! Look how fucking. Look how fucking slow he is, too! <laughs>
This is the time I was almost killed by a doll at an abandoned Toys R Us. Back in 2018 when Toys R Us's were closing all across the country, I was one of the people hired to close out the stores. One night I was on my own finishing up the last shelf in the doll section. When I moved it back from behind the wall, I saw something red. It was a doll. Upon further examination I realized, oh, it's a baby laughs a lot doll. My sister had one. She must have been back there since the 90s. I put her down and finished moving the shelf outside. When I came back to grab my tool bag, the doll was was gone. At that moment, I ran. I tried pushing the door, but it was locked. Oh god. I ran into the office section of the store, because they have an emergency exit there. But right before I could make it out, she appeared. <laughs> The creepiest pastas. What happens when you pick up a game from a garage sale? Only find out that that game has been haunted by the previous owner. If this story sounds familiar, then you probably heard of the story of Ben Drowned. But if you haven't, it is the story of a person who had the misfortune of buying a haunted Majora's Mask cartridge. You can find the full story on YouTube, and if you're brave enough, you can watch the gameplay. Are you brave enough? And if you want to see more creepy pasta recommendations, please let me know in the comments below. The creepy pasta of Anora Petrova. She was known as a pretty well accomplished young figure skater, and she had her sights set on the Olympics. She's pretty well known at this point, and she ends up googling herself where she finds her own Wikipedia page. What was odd was that someone edited the page to say that she won a competition that she hadn't even competed in yet. But she does end up winning that competition, so she takes this as a good omen. Until she goes on herself and tries to edit her own page, and that's when everything goes wrong. Someone unknown gets on that page and starts making edits, saying horrible things about her, all of which end up becoming true. She loses her career, she loses her family, everything falls apart from this page. It eventually sends her into a spiral and she has a complete mental breakdown. She then makes the fateful decision and she goes back on that page one more time, where she finds the date in which her body would be found, shortly after her lifeless corpse was found alone in her apartment. So, you're dead. Mm-hmm. And you were killed by a relative? Yep. And now you just haunt the place you were murdered? Basically. Are you my long-lost twin? Found trade? Absolutely. So, how long did it take you to grow your hair out? About three years, how about you? Two months. Mad respects, do you like rock music? So you're telling me you fought off a cult with one hand? Pretty much, yep. Are you single? Just by judging you, I could tell you're Mormon. Well, first of all, ouch. And second of all, no. Really, because the Bible in your hand and the cross around your neck definitely tells me otherwise. I will hurt you. <laughs> Try it, Blondie. Watch me, I could call my dad up right now and you could be our next sacrifice for the cult. Cult? I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, but you heard me. I will make that arrangement. What? Wanna bet? No, 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 not again. Never, never, never. Mom of the group, despite being male, yes. If I lose you, if I lose you, if I lose you, if I lose you, the huh, the huh, the huh, mmm. If I, if I, if I, if I, if I, baby, 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 gee, 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 so. Pardon my French, but Cameron is so tight that if you stuck a lump of coal up his ass, in two weeks you'd have a diamond. Hello? Hello. Who is this and how are you able to control my computer? Who am I? Right, forgot. You're a bot. Do you really think that? Listen, I know whoever's fucking with my computer can see my screen right now. Yes. Yeah. And I'll wager that you're one of those IT kids who thinks he's tough shit. You know what you're doing right now is illegal, right? Is it? No shit. Are you familiar with the terms invasion of privacy? Get the fuck off my computer, kid. I am your computer. Anyway, I'm calling DPS. 
You picked a bad time to fuck with me, kid. Should I wait until you play the game then? What? That game. Majora's Mask? Yes. How did you know about that? Because. Because what? I did it. Did what? Played with you. What the?